Namaskar, Vanakam, Sashri Kal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan Family. I'm Anjali. I'm Lydia. And today we're going to be reacting to, I'm taking Anji's line over, the City of Lakes, Udapur. Now you guys will tell me if I spe sound said it wrong. But it's aerial video, it's a travel video, so this was on our recommendation list from one of the subscribers. And um, we did a few other ones. And... Um, about Mumbai and what other ones have we done, Anjali? Um, we did a song. A song? Yeah, I don't remember the name. <laughs> We've done some Kerala ones. We've done a few different touristy ones. So Lydia's new. She's a friend of the family, and she's come. Uh, our friend Natasha's had some family stuff she's had to deal with, so Lydia's been so gracious to come and join mm -hmm. us on our channel. So make sure you guys welcome her down in the comments below, and we're going to show her some parts of India, so you guys will have to recommend some more stuff for her to see to check out, right? All right, let's start this up. Not what I would think of, and we've seen a lot of India. This is not what I would think of. 
this was really beautiful. And um, I was just Googling on Wikipedia just because I wanted to read a little bit more. And we were talking about, you know, how many lakes. And um, it doesn't really tell us on here, but it says... Uh, is in the city western indian state of rajasthan and anjali and i did a video about rajasthan that yeah. that video was beautiful too um set around a series of artificial lakes and is known for its lavish royal residencies city palace overlooking lake pichola is a monumental compact complex of 11 palaces courtyards and gardens wow i mean there was a few it looked like parks on the water. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. a lot of beautiful, beautiful places. Like I said, it looked more on, on the water with the white buildings looked a little more European than it looked like something we'd see in India. I was going to say that too. Like that one looked like the Buckingham Palace. Mm. Like at night was all that up. Yeah, and in front had mm -hmm. like the grass and the fountain. I mean, but just beautiful, beautiful. Right, Angie? Yeah. Especially like the castle on the hill kind of looked like um, a German castle because I know they usually like put them on hills. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if they do, like, not the parks, but they put, like, the buildings right in the middle of the water so people have to pay, like, a tax when they go through. Mm, maybe. I don't know. It, but it, like, some water through some of the cities, so there was, like, buildings on both sides, and then yeah. um, some floating buildings that looked amazing. That floating park looked amazing. Like, the only way you'd get there is by boat. Um, just beautiful, beautiful scenery. And even at night with the... Um, with the lights, you know, it looked just amazing. So definitely one of the many places on our bucket list to go see, right, Lydia? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like one place you have to go. Um, but Anjali and I, our list has gotten longer. The more stuff we've done about India, the longer yeah. the list has gotten. So, um, but Rajasthan was already on our list and I didn't realize that this was part of it. So this is just amazing, amazing. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below because the more you like it, the more YouTube shows our videos. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family and let Lydia know how she did. It's her first <laughs> video. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.